Hello, today we are looking at a new feature that has arrived on SharePoint Online to create both content pages for an intranet and new communications. Let's move right into my demonstration area and see together what it's all about. Wait a moment, I'll steal 10 seconds to introduce myself. I am one of the Microsoft most valuable professionals and on this channel you will find tons of technical videos to keep you updated on all Microsoft 365 technologies from SharePoint to Teams to Microsoft 365 Copilot. Subscribe then to see the new updates. Let's try to make a new um, communication. Choose the default template available and create our page. The novelty concerns the top part of the page, which is our header. We know that until now we had four options to choose the graphics, the look and feel, and also the content of our header. Now the big news again is that uh, the header of a page has become a web art. In fact, the first thing I can do if I want is to delete the component and create a page even without a header. Choosing the layout and the look and feel for the page title or simply opting not to have it and starting immediately with the page content. Clearly, once it is removed, if I want to put it back, I have here the web part that is called banner, which is the new name for the title. In addition to this, we have the option to use two new types of views for the top part of our page. The first is this, which is the default configuration of the web art when it is inserted into the page. I have the option to use this background with a gradient that starts from a dark color and transitions to the background color of our page. The gradient chooses two colors that are then those of the theme. As of today, even by going into the properties of our component, we do not have the option to choose the starting color and the ending color. It's one of the improvements that we all expect for this component. The second option is to use an author type layout. The author inserts the image of the person who created the page or the news on the right side, allowing for very useful layouts for communication areas similar to blogs or when I want to create an internal newsletter written by someone specific, written by the CEO or by someone from the leadership and so on. These are the two new viewing options. In addition to this, I also have the ability to move the component within any of the columns and sections present on the page. This allows us to create areas and pages that may have multiple titles within the content. Titles that can be either within a standard column or in two thirds, one third or half columns, but especially also in those columns that are full width. Here it is. This way I have the opportunity to divide the content of my page with a title and a subtitle that takes up the entire width of my page. These were the updates regarding the creation of content within intranet pages or within communications using the new banner web part. Until next time.